Hey, what's up guys? David Glenn for davidglennrecording.com, theproaudiofiles.com, and my new site, themixacademy.com. Stoked about that. But today we're talking about Ozone 6 and the EQ section. And even more specifically, we're going to do some EQ matching. Uh, and Ozone 5 is a huge feature that I used all the time, and they've uh, simplified it moving into Ozone 6. So we're going to take a quick look at that. I'm going to put myself on the spot, show a mix that I'm working on, um, my personal disclaimer, uh, this is tracked completely differently than the reference that I'm using and uh, all kinds of arguments I can make about that. But ultimately, my job is to do my best for the client and uh, we'll uh, we'll argue that in the comments. But anyways, the reference track I'm using is going to be over here to the right at marker 14. It's an Israel, uh, Israel Houghton, Houghton, I can't, man, I always butcher his name. Uh, we'll call it Israel, Israel track. And then I've got a, uh, a song I'm working on here. So let's hear mine first. Then we'll hear the reference. Okay, so aside from me having some work to do on my mix, um, let's go ahead and uh, let's pull open the Ozone 6 EQ, and let's see if we can get a little bit of help from doing some EQ matching. So I I'm not even going to pay attention to anything up here for now. I'm just going to come down here. You see there's two buttons. You can click on the power button, which will instantiate matching, or um, you can click on to the side, and then I'll actually pull up in the menu here for uh, capturing and matching your audio. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go to my reference, and that's here, reference audio. That's my track out to the right. I'm going to hit capture, and I'm going to hit play. Very cool. And we're going to stop it. And uh, those of you guys who are uh, big Pensado's Place fans, you'll know uh, Israel was one of the, the guest performers at the Pensado Awards. Pretty sweet uh, performance that he had acoustic there with Matt Maurer. It's one of his uh, studio records. Moving on from that capture, we're going to come up back over here to mine. I'm going to capture my target audio, my mix. Okay, cool. Now, if you've got a, a song where you've got multiple sections, then you may want to let it play longer. It'll take an average over that, that duration of whatever you're playing. But uh, for this tutorial sake, we're going to go ahead and cut it at that. You can see it kind of a quick look at the chart there, the uh, frequency pattern. Looks pretty similar, not too bad. But we're going to go ahead and turn on matching. And we're going to look at this match curve here. So this is uh, how much smoothing goes on to the curve you can make it to where it's you can see all that good stuff in there or you can smooth that out a little bit so it sweetens the the gentleness of it we'll call it sweetening all right and then the amount is simply how much of that matching that you want to uh to be working on your track so you can see if i boost it all the way we've got a pretty decent sub spike some drop in the uh, what about 60 to 100 a little bit of a mid boost, a little bit of a cut around 1K, um, some stuff going on with this, a little boost at the top, but then a little bit of a reduction at the max uh, 15K or so. So anyways, you get the point. Depending upon your track, what, what you've got on yours versus what your, your reference is doing, you're going to see um, different things, and that's the whole point of this EQ match is to kind of get a ballpark of. Um, now, these tracks are different instruments so to speak there's some similarities like the drums hopefully are you know comparable but um the uh guitars aren't driving and going crazy in my song there's not this swell of brick wall of sounds with synths and guitars on mine um but they're they're somewhat comparable and i felt like this would be a good sonic reference to aim for not necessarily perfect so um and that's usually going to be the case. It's not always going to be you're going to have the same sounds as another song and you're just like trying to nail it perfectly. This is just kind of help us out a little bit. And uh, 
I think it's a great tool. So I'm using it all the time. I think that uh, in this case, we're going to use more of a gentle approach. Just have a little bit of bump there. You can see it's kind of a, a kiddie roller coaster now as opposed to a full-on Bush Gardens adventure there. So we'll use like a gentle slope. Let's take a listen. I'm going to move this back up here. You know, notice in my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going. You'll notice that in my setup, I use a, a Submaster. That's my stereo bus. And then that goes to the main outs. I put my fades and everything here. Um, but uh, when I do the matching, I'm recording the audio from the reference track, which is out to the right. And I send that directly to the main outs. You can see that up here called a track at the top of my session called refs. And that's going to the main outs. Everything else goes to these... Uh, pre-stereo bus buses and then from there to the two bus and then out to the master out so this was a post limiter match for me and it also allowed me to capture the reference track without any of my two bus processing of course that's important to note so cool moving on let's uh let's hear what it did to the track before and after now that we've got uh this third instantiation here this eq matching Let me put it up here a little bit more all right let's take a listen Okay, so there's a little bit of a help coming from that. I think it's pretty cool. Whenever you, uh, I've already done a couple instances of um, matching EQ. So this one's pretty gentle. It was more just for demonstration purposes. But um, something to note is when you do the matching EQ, if you're mixing into a limiter like I do, you'll need to adjust that according to what the uh, matching EQ did to your track. If it's boosting uh, instead of cutting, then you're going to see a gain boost here. You can either adjust that there you can pull down your output a little bit or you can adjust how it's going into the limiter by handling that with your limiter's threshold so a couple things to take a look at i hope you guys enjoy that ozone six is uh about to replace five in my template across the board but um it's going to be a uh, a slow process and make sure i a b them comparable and comparable make sure that i'm a being them to uh to make sure it's it's exactly what i'm i'm used to and i like or better and uh, all that good stuff. So check out theproaudiofiles.com. Doing all these tutorials. My voice is going. I'm going to go get some water and uh, continue rocking on recording these for you guys. Check out davidglennrecording.com, themixacademy.com. Like, subscribe, share these with your friends. We appreciate it. And we look forward to bringing you more great content. Thanks.